got news for you. Look at what you're watching. It's EETV, and surprise, it's live from here in East Elgin. That's right, go Eagles. Let's see what's up at our school. But only for a couple minutes, and then you gotta get back to work. Today is Monday, May 15th. I'm Paige. And I'm Amy. And, and here are your announcements. If you are interested in medical school, then sign up for an information session in the guidance office. Western Schulich School will provide information on applying course information and the life of a medical student. Students in all grades are welcome to attend. Attention students 16 years and older are looking for a summer job. The town of Elmer is hiring Elmer summer students for park maintenance. You must have a valid driver's license. Please come to guidance to get more information. Attention any students who are interested in a career in the outdoors or environmental field. Fleming College will be at East Elgin on Wednesday, May 17th during fourth period in the library. If you are interested in a career in the environment, please sign up in guidance. Next year, there will be a grade 11 communications course at EESS that will involve the production of morning announcements, yearbook, and other tech-related events at our school. If this is something you are interested in learning more about, please see your guidance counselor. Shadow, Shadow counsel is, needed. Not, is needed, needed today. today. <laughs> That's you. Attention university-bound students in grade 11. Are you interested in taking the grade 12 university English over the summer? Huron College is offering a unique opportunity to earn the For You English credit this July. Please come to Guidance for more information and get a link for an information session now out to Faith for a GABA announcement. Hey Eagles, this is just a reminder to bring in cans to help support the Corner Cupboard as well. Um, on Wednesday and Tuesday, we will be collecting cans, so get them all in, back inside. Attention Eagles, the EDUCAST fishing tournament is quickly approaching and spots are limited. This will be on a first come first serve basis, so get your permission forms in and pay online ASAP. There are less than 50 spots remaining. Now out to Hayden for a special announcement. Good morning Eagles, this quick announcement is for anyone that has played on a sports team. Please be here this Wednesday, May 17th, as we will be getting team photos for the yearbook. Again, that is Wednesday, May 17th. All members of a sports team, please be here at this school as we will be getting team photos. Now back to Amy and Paige. Last week, the Eagles varsity boys soccer team traveled to West Elgin to take on the Wildcats on their home turf. Unfortunately, Troy Bolton wasn't there to tell the Eagles to get their heads in the game because they needed a reminder early on that that they were playing a soccer game. The Eagles made some careless mistakes in the first half of the match that let the pesky Wildcats stay in the match. In the second half, the Eagles battled their way to a 6-2 victory over the Wildcats with Brendan Giesbrick standing tall in the Eagles' nest. As well, the Eagles received timely goals from Landon Giesbrick, Nate Twynham, and Lincoln Giesbrick. In upcoming action, the Eagles will take on the Titans from Central Elgin on Tuesday and the Rams from St. Joe's on Thursday this week. Now over to Lena with today's calf special. Today, calf? Today we have chicken up for one of my faves. Now back to Amy and Paige. That, that's all your announcements, Eagles, and we'll see you. No. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you have a course, Eagles. Okay. Get your yearbook question. He's been asking for these for months. Friday. Friday. This Friday. Not next Friday. This Friday, please. Okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all your announcements, Eagles, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>